in this video I'm preparing for um, doing some CFD calculations ultimately what I want to be able to do is to find the drag on a vehicle um, and I'm starting off in fusion just by drawing that vehicle um, and I'll start by um, inserting a canvas I've, I've set it up we can insert it on any face really but one of the sort of vertically oriented faces like the right face is is fine um, and then what I've done is to download this image uh, I'll say okay it's a very small image I'm afraid uh, of the dimensions of a Volkswagen Tiguan um, and the Volkswagen Tiguan is 4486 millimeters long so uh, I went insert and then chose a plane to insert this picture on and then chose the picture which I had saved I can now say okay I want to calibrate this picture and to do that I pick any two points so the two that have a distance specified and I can say the the what the distance between those points should be and in this case that's four four eight six uh, millimeters and I can zoom out until I can see all of that okay um, the next thing I want to do if I say sketch the center of um, what I'm drawing is there I want to move everything up so that it's just above the origin that'll make things slightly easier um, I wonder if I can I thought I'd be I should be able to move that canvas but it doesn't seem to want to move at the moment if I choose edit canvas ah, if I choose edit canvas I can drag it upwards um, let's see how that looks uh, okay I probably want to drag it up another hundred millimeters or so um, let's go 200 millimeters and if I now say sketch that's good everything's above the origin and that's what I really wanted here okay so now we can do a sketch um, and on this sketch I'm going to sketch again on the right hand plane and now I'm just going to try and trace out the outline I think I'll start by tracing out the wheels um, I don't really mind if I get this exactly right something like that with a 700 uh, millimeter seven hundred mil seven hundred uh, millimeter diameter is good and then I'll do another one for the back wheel and I want it to be on the same height and that can be 700 so we've got the wheels in place uh, the next thing I'll do is um, I think I'm just gonna do this as a line model at the moment um, to keep it nice and quick and then we'll want to come back and maybe improve things over time but if I start messing around with arcs um, we could be here for a while and it's not really what I'm interested in so let's go uh, from the wheel out to the front of the car and in fact you could use this as an interesting study right um, if you instead of having this very blocky version of it that I'm producing here if you have a nice neat version um, how does that improve uh, the aerodynamics of the car so consider that something that you could actually be interested in solving um, I'll do all this stuff at the back I don't know it might might be interesting aerodynamically so uh, we'll include it you can include as much or as little of this as you want to um, and the next thing that I'm gonna do is a line from here to, in fact let's try and get that line I'd like it to uh, okay so I can um, get it to match up so something like that is pretty good um, I'm happy with where I've drawn everything there 
again draw whatever you you feel like um, the last thing I'm gonna do is just to trim away the tops of these wheels so that we have um, I think that's now a kind of closed single loop on that sketch if I just turn off the canvas then I can start to see okay I, I can see the shape of that car reasonably well <laughs> it doesn't really look much like a modern car anymore but that's fine um, the, the principle will work okay um, and I'll stop that sketch and now in fact I can just turn off the canvas altogether we've got what we needed from it um, I'm just going to check uh, on the Tiguan dimensions its width is uh, 1839 to 2099 something around two meters which is what I would have expected for a car so we'll just extrude it directly uh, symmetrically to be um, if I go 950 in both directions that's about correct um, and then the last thing that I want to do at the moment I've got kind of roller bars instead of wheels uh, so I'm just going to make those more wheel like by sketching on uh, this in fact uh, sorry that's the wrong place to sketch I kind of have to be careful now where I'm sketching because some of my faces are not as vertical as they seem to be um, if I just sketch out a rectangle starting there um, Uh, sorry I'm just trying to make sure I'm happy with this uh, let's go from uh, it's hoping to be able to snap to that point okay well maybe we can't so I think if I make that exactly uh, 1600 wide I'll get the effect I want. Um, what I'm going to do in the end is to extrude cut that rectangle. Let's just say stop sketch. Um, we will um, extrude that uh, like so. Let me just see. That should, that looks pretty neat removing the front wheels. Um, so I'm happy enough with that. And it doesn't seem to be removing too much else so I can say okay um, and we've got something that that I'm reasonably happy with on the front wheels um, now I'll do the same on the back and I'll have to be a bit more careful here what I might just do is construct a new plane um, to line up with the back wheels and sketch on that so that what I'm worried about is I don't want to um, cut out any of the middle of the car. Let's just try and get this correct. Um, we'll do about minus 940, 950, 960. That looks pretty okay. Um, and now if I sketch on that plane we can do the same kind of thing we did before. Uh, produce a rectangle which goes from there to there and then up to there and if I stop that sketch I should be able to do an extrude cut like so okay and that now looks uh, about like a car I've got slightly fatter front wheel uh, back wheels than front wheels that's fine too um, you know that can could end up being an interesting thing to to look at when we come to do the CFD so that's something like uh, a very blocky version of a Volkswagen Tiguan the next thing I want to do I've got my car model now um, and uh, let's just make that body um, look slightly different um, I'll give it some kind of glossy enamel blue 
that's fine um, because now I'm interested in putting the wind tunnel around that car and to do that I'm going to um, start by looking at um, creating a large rectangle around the car uh, I'm going to move so that my wind tunnel starts seven and a half meters in front of the origin and it'll finish about 10 meters behind the origin uh, and now if I sketch on this plane to create sketch um, what I'm gonna do is make my wind tunnel uh, four meters wide and um, two and a half and a half meters high. Uh, let's go four meters wide and three meters high. Okay, and I can say stop sketch. Um, and now, if I extrude this a long way that way, um, I said it started seven and a half meters in front of the vehicle, so I want it to finish. Um, well, I'll make it 20 meters long as a wind tunnel. Um, I guess that needs to be minus 20,000 is 20 meters long. And then the next thing that's really important, I want that to be a new body, and I'll show you why in a minute. But what I don't want to do is cut away, is to destroy the car that I've made. I want to have two bodies, one of which is the wind tunnel and one of which is the car. And I might just see on this one if I can make its appearance... Um, something like see-through. I don't know whether we can do that. Um, yeah. Its appearance is now air. Okay, uh, that's kind of useful. Nice to know about. Um, so that's what we've got. The final thing that I'm going to want to do though is to merge these two bodies. Um, and to do that I click on both of them, say modify combine or in fact I didn't need to click on both of them. Um, what we need to do is select a target body. That's the thing that's being um, cut away, I suppose. So that's the air. Then we select a tool body. That's the thing that's doing the cutting. And the operation that we want is to cut. So basically we're taking the shape of the car out of the shape of the air. And if I say OK, we're left with one body like this, which looks like this. And that's got um, the the wind tunnel with the car cut away inside it. If you wanted to, you could go to uh, section analysis and you click on a face that you want to sort of look back from and you can do things like this where you start to look across the section just to make sure that um, we have indeed cut away the car as we hoped we have. But I think we have. I'm happy with that. Uh, so I'll turn off the section analysis and just leave the main analysis in place. OK, um, that's everything that I wanted to do in this part of the tutorial to make uh, a wind tunnel with a with a vehicle in it. I'm going to now say I will save that um, as whatever. And I'm also going to export it. Um, and I've made a directory on my computer here for it. And I'm going to export... Um, and call it Tiguan in enclosure. Uh, and what I want to export it as uh, for the time being is an IGES file, IGS like that. And we can say save. Okay, um, that's how to start off this process of investigating um, the air drag on vehicles by making your vehicle and then putting it into something like a wind tunnel. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking in ANSYS and we'll be trying to measure the drag on that vehicle at different speeds.